welcome back. Uh, this isn't so much as really a tutorial, it's just because there's really not a lot to teach about this. It's fairly straightforward and simple. It's just to, to give you guys an idea of, you know, what you can make with a few things from the Dollar Tree. Um, each of these little eggs here has a little stuffed animal inside of it. I do have pink and purple for girls and, you know, um, girl colored um, stuffies, I guess you could call them. They're personalized with a child's name. And the little animal is personalized as well. And the tiny little egg there has some wrapped candy in it. If you like one of these, I do have them for sale. Um, today is March the 6th. So on March the 7th, I'll have them up for sale in my Facebook group. Please look in the description box down below and the link to that group will be down there. So stay tuned and I'll show you how I made them. Alrighty, let us get started. So I bought several packs of these Easter eggs here. I also bought 20 of these eggs here. They're just a two-piece plastic egg and they snap together. You know, you can stuff them with candy and whatnot. That comes from the Dollar Tree, of course. And then I just got a huge assortment of plushies. I got ducks and little lambs and all different colors of bunnies, different types of bunnies. There were some terry cloth ones in there as well as these fuzzy ones. So, um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, I will have these up for sale in my Facebook group. This is, I believe, the 6th. Is this March the 6th? I don't even know what day it is. But anyway, <laughs> the day after when I post this video, I'll, um, I'll have these up for sale in my Facebook group. The link to that is in the description box down below. So, all I did is I took my Cricut. Now, if you do not have a Cricut, just buy stickers. You can go to Hobby Lobby and buy stickers. But I used my Cricut and I cut out my little boy's names. You can see this one over here, this blue one says Gabriel, and this green one here is gonna say Michael. Now for my transfer tape, I use this clear transparent like shelf liner stuff. It's called Magic Cover. You can get this at the Dollar Tree. It's a dollar for this huge, huge roll and it works just as well as the transfer tape from other big brand companies. So just a little trick that I've learned when putting vinyl on a curved surface. This is not, you know, really, really curved. And I really didn't have a problem putting the vinyl on. But I just want to show you. I'll see how I'm trimming this as closely as I can to the name. And then you see like where the M goes up like this. I just like to cut a little notch. Just cut a little notch every now and again. Like right there with the H. I cut that. I'll just turn it over just cut little notches everywhere it's, it this is going to help to prevent it from wrinkling okay careful not to cut your letters okay let's get that out of the way and just take the name really really simple just put it somewhere that kind of towards the center of the egg you see like where I cut those notches, how it kind of like overlaps itself a little bit on the curved part. Just a little trick that I picked up. Okay, let's pull the transfer tape. Well, I'm going to call it transfer tape, but I don't know what it is. Okay, and now there's our name. Now, I'm to, <clears throat> excuse me, let's open the egg up here. Well, I said we're just going to open it up so that y'all can see like the clear part separate from the colored backing here. Okay, and see, each one of the eggs has like a little design on the side. This one has flowers, and the blue one has got little bunnies, just a little cute something extra. Now, I want to decorate this a little bit to match the bottom part. And then all I did with my vinyl, and this is the kind of vinyl that I'm using, I usually order from um, Oracal, really, really good vinyl. I'll put a link to that in the comments down below, so look for that. And this is just your basic vinyl from Cricut. It's not HTV, it's not the permanent kind, it's just your basic vinyl. And to decorate this a little bit, I just use my Cricut to cut out some circles. And I'm not going to use transfer tape on these because it's just circles. I don't want to I don't want to waste transfer tape just on this. So I'm just going to peel them off by hand. I'm just going to stick it somewhere on here. These circles are one inch in diameter. Okay. So like I said, you know, if you don't want to do that, you know, you can um, just go buy some stickers somewhere. But these are one inch. And then these smaller circles here I cut were um, 
three quarter inch. Ah, that's not wanting to come up. Help me. So that's one inch and three quarter inch. And we'll stick them on there just like that. I'm going to do one more. I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me put dots all over this thing. Y'all saw that at the beginning of the video. Now I'll just put another one here. So you don't want your dots to be too big because then they'll ripple when you put it on the curved surface, you know. So that's why I kind of made them a little on the small side. Like I said, if you don't have a Cricut, just use some stickers. See, just like that. I'm going to put a few more on there. Now, in this green one, I'm going to put a little ducky. And we're going to rip his little tag off here. Like that. And now I want to put the name, the matching name, on the little ducky's tummy. So, cut the name out of the HTV vinyl. Okay, this is a heat transfer vinyl. And I didn't peel this one apart yet because I wanted to show you this can be just a little bit more tricky than the other vinyl to peel apart. But you want your letters to stick on the um, on the clear part here, okay? And you want to do this just, just slowly. And I've got a lot of questions about um, the HTV vinyl. And this in particular is not an actual tutorial on how to use a Cricut or anything like that. I'll have videos for that later. But I just wanted to show that you do indeed want your letters to stick on that on that clear plastic part. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's get that out of there. Get the E. Now the way that I put <coughs> gosh the way that I put names on stuffed animals is I just use a, a flat iron. And because this little animal here is not really fluffy, it's not going to pose too big of a problem. But if your animal is very fluffy, you might want to take like a, a razor and just shave the, the fuzziness down a little bit. So now I'm just going to put the name on the little duckie's tummy tummy, just like that. Just kind of press it down a little bit. It'll stick a little bit on its own. A little bit. <laughs> Not a whole lot. Just try to keep this ribbon out of the way. This is proving to be tricky. And then just taking my flat iron and just pressing for a few seconds like that. I've already done another video around Valentine's on how to use the heat transfer vinyl on little plushy animals. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. I'll put a link to that one in the description box down below as well. And then we're just going to turn him over and do the same on the other side. Try not to let it peel up while it's still hot. Because that might can, might can ruin your letters. But yeah, this was just a, um, just a quick idea, I guess you could say. Really, really not much of a tutorial to it. It was just to be able to pass along an idea to y'all of just a way that you know you could decorate these eggs and then you know decorate the little animals as well. And I'm just going to do one more press on this side. Let's try to go all the way across. See now the bunnies they're a little bit more fuzzy and I'm going to show you an idea that I have for the bunnies here just in a second when Mr. Duck is done. All right let's lay him over there to cool. Now what I did for this bunny which is going to be for one of my other little boys is, let's pull this out of his ear. I suggest, because he's so fuzzy, I suggest doing a name like on the inside of the ear. Okay. Cat here. Just like that. And I'm thinking, did I cut it big enough or small enough? I'm hoping. I think it'll be okay. I could have made that name a little bit smaller. Just a little bit. But see, because this is really, really fuzzy, I don't want to keep my flat iron in place too long on any one area. So I'm just going to press it like that. And if you have like a pressing cloth, you can just use an old t-shirt, you know. Just an old piece of cloth, you know, if you want to, um, to put that as a barrier. 
between your, your flat iron, your iron, whatever you're using. You know, if you want to use that, like I said, as a barrier between the fuzziness on the back, feel free to do that. So let's let that lay there and cool as well. And then what I would suggest to do is once, let's see if this is cool enough. I think it is. Gently peel that away. Now, if you want to use stickers on your stuffed animals, I, you know, I, I don't know how well they will stick because, you know, like these, I said these are fuzzy. You know, so I don't know how well a sticker would stick. But see, there's his name. And then I'm just going to put him down inside his little egg here. And hang on. We're going to find some scissors. And now, of course, candy will be inside this egg. I'm going to just put his little matching egg right there. And then close him up inside of his little pod here. <laughs> These are tricky to snap back together, let me tell you, because it seems like the, the colored plastic is like a little bit thinner. I don't want to say flimsy because they're not flimsy. It's just a little thinner than the clear plastic. And then there you go. There's like your little personalized egg and your personalized toy. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please, please give me a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of those will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.